this should be considered absolute mental illness. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, you notified me about the deterioration of Koi Fresco over the last four years on a vegan diet. So today I'm going to check out what happened to him and then we can analyze what his vegan diet has to do with it. All right, so here you see Koi Fresco four years ago. What is up guys, it's Koi and thank you so much for coming out to my new YouTube channel, Koi's Corner. I know this is brand new and I'm brand new, especially with vlogging and talking to a camera, so I'm gonna try to get better at it as time goes on. But basically I just wanna tell you guys what I'm gonna be talking about, what my plan. All right, now let's check him out four years later. He uploaded this video yesterday. Vishuddha Das. Treating soul family. My Jesus. Das and I assist people with self improvement and spiritual growth. Oh, wow, it's not only the name that has changed, yeah? Especially ones like today where we. Wow. Vampires. Or what you might. Energy call vampires. No, man. This is not about energy vampires, this is about your food that is draining you. Look at the state that this man is in. This absolutely saddening man. What more do you need to see until you understand that the vegan diet is destructive to human health? I know the vegans will say, he just did it wrong, right? He's probably fasting, he's probably doing raw veganism and whatnot. You will always find a reason. However, it is the vegan diet that led him to this dire state. So, he is a spiritual person and a guy that is into psychedelics. I've seen some of his work on and off. I know that he's into meditation, yoga, psychedelics, so on and so forth. And the reason why I make this video is because me personally, I have experience with mushrooms, with ayahuasca as well. And I do understand the allure and I do understand the risk that comes with those plant medicines. To catch you up to speed without ranting on for too long, I had an autoimmune disorder and therefore I used magic mushrooms in order to heal those physical symptoms. And it helped out tremendously. It healed me. However, during that time, you will of course explore other realms, your internal world, so on and so forth, and that can lead to certain conceptualizations. Not saying that it has to, but it can. And one of those conceptualizations can be veganism. I call this a false understanding of the spiritual realm, if you will. Many people report on repetitive phenomena. They report on a sense of unconditional love, unity, God consciousness, communion, an almost religious experience. In those experiences where they feel that everything is one, they come to the conceptualization that because everything is one, you should do no harm, right? This is a Buddhist belief as well. So once that realization, that conceptualization is reached, some could falsely assume that therefore you shouldn't eat animals. And the result is to be seen here. Koi Fresco changed his name, his appearance changed drastically. You can see the classical vegan sunken eyes. You can see that he thinned out and he lost all the fat and the collagen in his face. His bones are sticking out. He looks deteriorated. He looks very dirty as well. He just looks neglected in that sense. Of course, you can see that he is mentally ill as well. And that is nothing new in the vegan community. Vegans always like to to point out studies, well, that is great. Then point out the studies that show brain shrinkage in vegans, severe depression in vegans. And this is what we can see here. Now his latest video is obsessed about energy vampires. Without even watching it, I assume that he will talk about people that can suck out your energy, right? But if you are a healthy, content human being, you wouldn't care what other people think. Energy vampires become an issue when you are already malnourished and you're feeling weak. If you're content, if you are well fed, you wouldn't have that problem. 
Now, let's check out what he has to say and sum it up. Be it family, friends, intimate relationships, work, or school, we tend to face Wow, so sad. If we don't, one, <laughs> notice it, and two, learn how to overcome them, mm. it can be a very detrimental and draining thing, not just to our own mental health. We talked about this in the live streams on Bobby's perspective. The most shocking factor is, of course, the voice. The voice is absolutely gone. This happens when you are fasting for prolonged periods. Now you will say, yes, this is what we told you. He did the vegan diet wrong. He's been fasting. No, guys, the vegan diet is a prolonged fast. There are stages of fasting. First stage, whole food plant-based diet. Second stage, raw veganism. Third stage, fruitarianism. Next stage, juice fasting. Then water fasting. And you end it with dry fasting. All of those practices are fasting practices. And this is why this young man lost his voice and lost his mind. But to our spiritual practice as a whole and even potentially our physical health. So today we're, so today we're going to be talking about just what an energy vampire is and how we can spot them and escape them, so to speak, or <laughs> overcome their negative and sometimes harmful effects. So to start, let's Wow, what wow. now we have a closer look. You can see the teeth. The teeth are translucent as well. You can almost look through them. This is, of course, because we do not find quality K2, D3, and calcium in plants. There is an absorption issue. This is why so many vegans suffer from bad dental hygiene, tooth decay, tooth loss. Absolutely saddening to see. And at the core, oh, man. an energy vampire is essentially someone who purposefully or accidentally drains you of patience, good energy, wow. comfort, or self-love. This is so insane. The only reason why you are obsessed with those concepts is because you are mentally ill. If you would eat a bunch of raw meat or a fat entrecote steak, you wouldn't have those thoughts, man. You wouldn't be flying up here and trying to make sense out of energy vampires who try to suck out my energy. You would be content, koi. Ah, excuse me, I should say, badushnavas. They essentially lower the vibration, not just yourself, but maybe even the room around you, simply by being there, simply by acting oh, wow. in the ways that they do, which counteract how you feel in your life. Okay, no offense, but this is a crazy person. This is how a mentally ill person looks like. I do not care if you're into dreads or not. This is a mentally ill person. This is not a healthy human being. You can see the mental deterioration in the eyes. Though it can be done not just intentionally but unintentionally, it's almost always due to their own selfish behavior, habits, or worldview. And one of the biggest problems I see when wow. it comes to energy vampires is that Jesus. we make excuses for allowing them in our lives or for not processing what? the fact that they are draining our energy or the fact what that they are you talking about ourselves. This is the biggest issue I see with most people is that they recognize that somebody is draining them, that somebody is an energy vampire, and they don't actually stop to love themselves and set... You know, Koi, the thing that I see is not so much energy vampires that try to suck me dry, but I see people that suck out their own energy by malnourishment. This is what we focus on here on this channel. People that are intentionally or unintentionally depriving themselves from nutrients and are deteriorating like yourself. Those are the people that I am concerned with. Boundaries and process how they can make a change or what they can do to change, change their reactions, change their habits, change their wow. perceptions and so forth. They often so say, well, that's just how they are. It's too much work. I'll just accept it and I'll deal with it. And this hurts you and harms you and drags you down little by little by little. It wears away at you. So we have to recognize these red flags and one, accept them and face them rather than making excuses like we so often do for, again, friends, spouses, and family members. We just can't allow ourselves to do this any longer. Okay, this is enough. We get the idea. Dear Koi, Vajush Navash. This is absolutely saddening to see. As I said, you see a man that lost his mind. 
If you pair hippie woo woo new age beliefs with veganism, you are in a world of suffering. This is what we see with so many. The deterioration is of course very obvious once we look back and check out how Koi looked four years ago. Just four years ago. This is a young man in his early 20s. He aged at least 10, 15, 20 years in those last four years. When will it be enough? This is what I'm truly asking myself. When I see the Freelies, the Durian Riders, all of those so-called pioneers, you see where they ended up in the last five years. Now you have another example of a Koi fresco. It took him four years to totally deplete himself. His incoherent ramblings are celebrated by people online. They believe he is spiritual. You can see how full of himself he is. Look at this self-portray, right? Those animations about himself, the Jesus-looking spiritual figure. This is nothing new. We've seen this before. This is cult mentality. This is the deification of a mere mortal, a human being that believes that he or she is superior than everybody else, but has of course all the right intentions. As we know, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. This is exactly what we see with this example. He believes that he is doing good, because our society allows his brain washing. This is celebrated, this is welcomed, this is considered empathetic, this is considered cruelty-free, this is considered compassionate, but this should be considered absolute mental illness. This is what we see mentally, we see it spiritually, and we see it physically. This man totally wrecked his health. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And guys, if you want to support Bobby's Perspective, in the description box, you can find the links to Subscribestar. This is our brand new community. Once you joined, you get a comprehensive nutrition guide. You get straight access to our Reclaim Your Health Discord channel. And on top of that, you get access to our exclusive private Skype group where we have weekly meetups. If you want to support Bobby's Perspective, this is the best way to do so. If you are an avid Amazon shopper, check out our Amazon links. It doesn't cost you anything. You just go through our portal and we get a small percentage of your purchase. If you want grass-fed beef delivered to your doorstep, ButcherBox is for you. Links as well in the description box. And if you might be interested in CBD, all the links you can find as well in the description box, all there for you. All right, guys, but this is it. As always, much love and peace.